Hello and welcome to the Vita Weekly Update Gamescom Edition. Let's hop right into it, shall we? Little Big Planet Vita will be in a bundle with the PS Vita when it launches in Europe. The game in Vita will cost €249 Euros, with no release details for the bundle in the US or other territories. Little Big Planet is due out on September 19 in Europe and September 25 in the US. PS All Stars is to be the first in a series of games to be available within the new cross buy service, where if you buy a PS3 copy of a game, you will get a PS Vita copy for free, and vice versa. Sly 4 and Ratchet and Clank Q Force will support cross buy, with EA considering including Need for Speed Most Wanted in this promotion as well. The release date for PS All Stars was recently pushed back to November 20 for the US and November 21 for Europe. Leading off on that last announcement, Ratchet & Clank Q-Force, known under the alternate subtitle Full Frontal Assault in America, has been confirmed to be on PlayStation Vita as well as PlayStation 3. The game will be out sometime in Fall 2012. Call of Duty Black Ops Declassified gone unveiling during the conference. It is being developed by Nihilistic, the same people who made Resistance Burning Skies, and will feature 4v4 multiplayer on 6 brand new maps in what appears to be Nuketown, a story set between Black Ops and Black Ops 2, and traditional multiplayer mechanics and systems similar to Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3. A bundle will also be released for Black Ops Declassified, which has a protective pouch, a PS Vita with a differently styled back touch panel, and the game itself. No price or release date was given. PlayStation 1 Classics will roll out with the first wave of titles on August 28. The titles are Tomb Raider, Jet Moto, Final Fantasy VII, Wild Arms, Twisted Metal 2, Cool Borders 2, Ark the Lad, Resident Evil Director's Cut, and Crash Bandicoot. No details on how other games will be released in the future. The 1.80 firmware update that will roll out on August 28 will also have some more updated features, such as the ability to control the home screen and some apps with the physical buttons, music playlists, back touch controls for the web browser, and other small tweaks. Media Molecule introduced their new game on PlayStation Vita known as Tearaway. The game uses every faucet of the Vita controls to help its main protagonist, Iota, escape the Vita and enter our world. The game has no solid release date. Killzone Mercenary, a game developed by Guerrilla Games for PlayStation Vita, was also shown off. There was only a few seconds of gameplay to be shown, but it appears to be a first-person shooter with a money system and touch controls for specific actions. No release date on this game either. PlayStation Mobile will include at least 30 games in its first rollout, with over 80 developers and publishers being on board with the system. The system will be integrated with the PlayStation Store on the Vita when the project finally launches this autumn. According to a preview on IGN, Need for Speed Most Wanted seems to be almost identical to the PlayStation 3 version on the PlayStation Vita, with all the cars, challenges, the entire open world, and even the console damage model making a perfect transition to the Vita, along with a set of touch controls to help the user interface. The game will release on October 30. And our final piece of news this week, PlayStation Plus will be extended to the PlayStation Vita sometime in September. No details or specific date was given. That's it for Gamescom. Sony really upped their game this time around with plenty of new announcements and features to go around. Anyway, here's a question. What game or feature shown at Gamescom makes you the most excited? Oh, and Sound Shapes is out in Europe as well. Go and play that if you haven't already. Comment, like, subscribe, and share the video around if you liked it. See you next week!